All right, hey, so do you want to introduce yourself for the video? Uh, I'm Rhys, I'm goalkeeper for Carello and Lone Fed Cumbrook. Just a quick question then, so take me through your career so far then. Uh, well, I started playing when I was 12, I was pro youth with Kilmarnock. I, I played boys club in between it, I was at uh, A United for a few years and I was at Rangers uh, for a wee spell as well. So pretty pretty good career so far then, uh, and I, you're 19 you say, yeah? Aye, uh, I'm 19, aye. Uh, so you're doing pretty well? Aye, uh, it's... Ah, it's good. Last season I was uh, obviously at Cumnock and won the Scottish Cup, so that's a big thing in my career as well. Yeah. So how are you finding it at Kelo this season? Obviously you've came on from low from Cumnock. Ah, it's good. There's good boys in that, but the obviously the results hasn't been good, but just... Hopefully get a good result today. Aye. Aye. So take result. me through, what, what would you think the game's going to be like today? Obviously they're sitting fourth at the minute, so... Ah, yeah, I think it'll be a good game. Kelo tested it better against the top of the league, so... Yeah, good game. It's, bait, bait. it's a big game for both teams. Both teams need to win. Aye. And just a quick one, quick score prediction from you. It's 3 1 Kelo. 3 1 Kelo? Aye. Mate, good to meet you Cheers. and enjoy the game. Thank you for coming up today. I've been just a lot of Oh! Oh! Oh, 
Been hot now. Well, one nil to Kelo Rovers. What? What a goal that could be! Bottom of the table, Kelo Rovers against fourth in the table. It's a huge goal. Hopefully, they can keep it up. But yeah, some game so far. One nil to Kelo Rovers. What a ball. Yeah! Yes! Well, this is a shot. <laughs> Kill Rovers 2, Finn Hart 0. Well, Kill Rovers 2, Finn Hart 0. This is going amazing for Keller Rovers right now. Bottom of the league, Keller Rovers are beating fourth in the league. It's incredible so far. They've, uh, the game's going to plan and yeah, they've been unbelievable so far. Um, two good goals, one a penalty and one, the second goal was a really good goal. But yeah, going well really well so far for Keller Rovers. It's Keller Rovers 2, Finn Hart 0. We're off in a deep wide. Tommy! Take it up! Brilliant, on you go. Almost 
scored again. Time here it's Keller Rovers 2, Finn Hart nil. Big second half on the way, so um, let's just hope they can keep up in the second half because this would be a huge three points for them. But uh, yeah, half time here, Keller Rovers 2, Finn Hart nil. Well, teams just came out for the second half. Let's go for a big half from Keller. Let's go. Oh no. Fuck's sake. Fuck off! Fuck's sake, man. Fuck off! 2 1. Well in Dunsey. Come on, 
Well done, Ray. Come on. Ray! <laughs> Go on. Brad! That's just the one! Yes! Come on! Here we go, huge hands for Kello to go 3 1 up. Come on. One to Kello Rovers. It's turning out to be a great result for them. Well, it's a penalty to Finn Hart. It's a penalty to Finn Hart, but they've just got a man sent off. Oh. This is wild. But it's not a penalty. No, I believe it's sent off. Oh shit. Well, he just got sent off. <laughs> That's striker as well. Well, there you go. <laughs> it's one of the away players fighting with a fucking... One of the home coaches. Yeah, it's going on YouTube. What's happening? <laughs> Second, second, second. Come on. Come on. Shoot. That's him. Oh. Unlucky. Full time Keller Wolves three Fed Hot one. What a result! Right, so we're here with Bob Hampton, my uncle. Bob, mate, what do you think of the game today? Great result. Ah uh, well, to be fair, it's been fucking, it's been coming. Yeah, we've not really played too great lately, but second half's usually Kelly's man, and they obviously got a goal quite early in the second half. Yeah. Grouped together and then got another goal, obviously. So three one, good result. Obviously, they're fourth in the league as well, so it's a big confidence boost for the boys. To be fair, it's been the same all season. Anytime we've picked up points or wins, it's always against the points that are maybe top three, top four. So I knew for a fact today that it was never going to be any different. They better us one nothing up there. Mm -hmm. Wasn't much in the game, but they, we definitely deserved it. So, um, just a wee touch on next season. Obviously, I think it's a guaranteed relegation this season. It's been a tough season for you, but um, what's the plans for next season? Are you just kind of looking towards? Obviously, I just, if it is going to happen, then, then that's football at the end of the day. Obviously, we just come back again, regroup, come back all together, stronger, 
make sure we try and get back straight back up at this league again. And just a final question, what do you think, um, what would you say to like people obviously coming to like junior games and stuff like that, obviously you are looking to like expand on your audience and stuff like that, do you know what I mean? But what would you say to people coming down maybe seeing games like these? I well, support your local clubs, £6, £7, whatever it is, whatever league you're in, compared to fucking 25 30 quid when you're going like Celtic, Pars, Kybrooks, whatever. Support your local clubs. Bob, I love you mate. Great result today and all the best for next season. Alright mate, so do you want to introduce yourself in your role at the club? Yeah, Greg Gallagher, the manager at Kelly Rovers Football Club. So, fantastic result for you. It's 3-1 against 4th place, Finn Hart. Um, what's your thoughts on the game? Uh, I thought we deserved the win, to be honest. I thought we controlled most of the game, apart from a 15 minute spell. Uh, beginning of the second half, we were breaking out. We knew we would, but um, I didn't adapt it as we should have dropped off too deep and let them on it, especially in the middle of the park, but uh, the boys got the grip of the game again and I thought that I thought that we deserved the three points. And just a quick uh, just a quick point, obviously you are still bottom of the table, isn't it? <laughs> so what's your plans for next season? Are you's, uh, obviously this will give you the confidence boost for the boys for the rest of the season, but what's your plans going into next season? Um, uh, just the, the, the squad's already signed again, so they have, it's just a case of adding to it uh, for next season. But, we started off this season with 14 injuries out of 18, which Aye. put us in a bit of a, a terrible place. Um, but it's a, it's a case now, we're starting to get the boys back um, for about the past two months. Um, just got to add to it for next season and, and strengthen that. Brilliant. And just a final point, obviously, um, what would you say to like wider range of fans, obviously supporting the local team and stuff? Um, obviously, it's a, a great thing coming to support your local team. What would you say to like wider fans, obviously? coming down to games like these in the junior leagues? Oh, just go and support your local team. Um, like seeing it yourself, you've done the young team here out in the, for the community and, um, and a lot of people are seeing it, we get drawn in more to the, to the senior football, but if your team's a, away from home, make sure you get into your local team and, and support them at all levels. That's brilliant, mate. I appreciate you doing the interview and good luck for the rest of the season. Brilliant result for you today and best of luck for next season, mate. I uh, appreciate this. Cheers, Robert. Thank you. Well, that wraps up the video here. It ended Kilo 3, Finhart 1. Um, brilliant news up for Kilo Rovers. Obviously, they're sitting bottom of the table, uh, pretty much. I think they'll be relegated. But uh, yeah, brilliant result for the team and a huge confidence boost for the boys. Uh, I just want to give a big thank you to the Kilo Rovers staff and coaches and stuff, and also the manager for being in the interview. Um, it means a lot to the channel. Uh, and yeah, if you guys. Um, obviously what the manager said, if you guys do have junior teams in your local area, please go and support them, please go and watch them play because it means a lot to the team. Um, even just a three, four pound a ticket, it's it's not much. Uh, so even just a little input, go support your local team when you're free. If you've no football at the weekend, go support your local team and uh, yeah, it means a lot to the clubs, but thank you guys for watching the video. If you guys are new to the channel, make sure to hit the like and subscribe button. And yeah, that ends the video here and I'll see you guys in the next video.